Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Render Technician and welcome to another Blender stream. Uh, last few days we've done um, that blasted endoskeleton and I thought we'd um, do something a little bit different today. Once again I don't actually have Blender open, I've got Photoshop open which I guess is something. Uh, I'm just going to delete all these. I did end up getting that endoskeleton um, done in the end. I got it. <coughs> I got it animated perfectly, quite well actually. Right. New texture. Open my uh, desktop and it's USS Enterprise. Spring material. Oh, it needs to be generated. It's actually got to have a um, light point actually. Okay, well that's fine. That's a bit squashed, so let's just bring it a lot X till that's perfect. Scale on the Z the other way. Scale on the perfect. So we're gonna work on um, from this part here, and then we can drop them R Y from and make sure they correspond to each of these parts. So that's what we're gonna do. X on the 90, X on the Y, sorry. Bring that in. Make sure it's lined up perfectly with the um, flush correctly with this on the 3. Bring it down. Down a bit more. Okay. How's that looking? Looks about right. Uh, we will. Smooth back, I think we're done with it. If any of you wondering what that weird noise is, it's me. I've got a sweet in my mouth. I've got a bit of a cough at the minute, so scale. I'm not going to scale it back on the Z. No, scale it back on the X axis. Then we have a smaller one here. Down. See, so we'll have a native co native colors. So we've got the top deck on. Hopefully, it's not the poop deck. Am I right? Um, we need to create this circle here. If you've seen it, it's like a giant dish, uh, with the exception of this bit here. Uh, but we should be able to. Easily achieve that of a UV sphere and toning down. Even though it's flat, I say it would actually be better in this case of a cube. Because what we can actually do is we can SZ it. So these corners are quite sharp, so let's put it in W subdivide smooth. That's about what we want. Well, not really, actually. Uh, let's go back to that UV sphere. Let's scale it on the X axis as much as we can. Now that's going to give us the effect we want. On the 3, scale it up. Now it's a bit bigger that way than it is that way. So bring it up on the Z axis. Okay, so we're going to rotate this uh, on the 90 degrees on the Z axis. Just make sure that corresponds correctly with that. Bring it up to there. It's pretty decent actually, that's what we want. We're going to have to have this. Um, that's the top, and then that's the bottom. So you've got the dish here, and then you've got the um, other dish here. Um, it just needs to go back. It should be fine. So if we bring that back, well, that's now the dish. So that's where the main body of it will go. Even though it looks nothing like the Starship Enterprise at the moment. Trust me, it will do uh, when this is all done. Uh, let's just scale that back. Make sure that looks okay. Yes, it does. Right. <coughs> 
So we're going to get this cube here. This is going to be down. We're just getting the preliminary factors correct and scale the z. Now we need to z this a box select on here. Get material to bring this all the way back. And we need to scale just the z, I think it was. Okay, right. A to A select. Good. Right. So we're going to get you. Right. We need to smooth you out. We need to smooth you out. Object. Join. No, it's not ideal. We need to do it so it's literally on the same vertice. So. Right about there. Right about there. It looks good. Mm, that looks about right. It's a bit low poly, but you can actually see the connector between them. But if we do something like that, it's a lot less noticeable. So let's object. Let's not join it yet. Um. This might actually be a better idea, so we've got a smaller cube there. Scale on the Z. Scale on the Y. Give it a quick render. Looked very basic for a minute. And when we pull that all up, that'll look alright, hopefully. Uh, right, let's get a cube. I don't have a thing for cubes, it's just the fact of they're one of the easiest parts to work with. Right. So let's bring you down. Let's bring you there. Z. And we're going to be the box select, bring the material in, bring you down as much as we can, scale the Z, E, yeah. scale the Z, E again, scale the Z, we're just going to do this. The Irish Knight says smoke weed every day. Oh, maybe not every day, that's a bit unhealthy, maybe every other day. So as you guys can probably work out, I went to see the new uh, Star Trek movie today. And I thought it was fucking awesome. Right, E... Scale. E. Scale. Then E. Scale. And we'll scale the Z. Right. Then we're going to smooth you. Then we're going to subdivide smooth you. Perfect. Okay. So it needs to go right about there, and everything was here. Need to go up. So if we move that out of the way, the new you, the new can be moved out of the way. Material. Bring you forward a little bit so you can actually see without that. Equipping that. We need to bring you in. <laughs> Render does have a thing for cubes. Don't listen to him, he lies. I mean, you're not wrong. Somebody's probably going to now write a fanfic called Render X Cubes or something stupid like that. 
I mean, I'm not saying do it, but... If you must, just try and make it as little cringy as you possibly can. Right. Is that right? Let's see. It's about right. Okay, so that's the dish done. So that looks... Well, that looks crap, basically, but once we've got got it like textured and all that sort of stuff it'll look pretty decent uh, so when we've got to have that we've just got to take into consideration that you're going to have to have the main thrusters so you've got that and you've got the boosters underneath so from the looks of it these boosters I think I should make it and make it cringy as hell no go ahead um, so you've got this bit here, which I imagine is that bit there. And then you've got the warp core, which is all the way at the top. That doesn't correspond to that. Okay, that one's upside down. That's why. Okay. So that's the main warp core, which is on the bottom there. On the very right picture, so this one here. And then this is upside down. So you then have that pulley there. So the pulley's then got to go from this dish here, it's got to go into the drive core, and then that's got to go down further, up further. This is all going to be inverted, so if I make it inverted, I'm going to always flip it over a little bit later. So this part here would be probably the best place to start, to be honest. Um, cubes... Uh, it's seriously, I don't have a thing for cubes, it's just, like I said, they're just one of the most versatile things to work for. Render the pair for best fanfic of you ever of you and cube. May have you make that, I'll read it on the channel. No bullshit or anything, if you actually make it, I will actually read it. And I'll tell you how cringy it is. Okay. Then E scale of a Y. Then E scale of a Y. Yeah, you probably will. I don't blame you. Then we can just reuse that, right? A smooth, smooth, smooth. W subdivide smooth. Is that a bit too much? Right, scale on the X. Rotate on the Y. Make sure the tip is facing that. Then Maybe you could do it with a bit extra X depth. And we've got to add these bits here. So control C, control V. Oh, Y in the 90 both times. Right. 
File, save as. Uh, we're going to need to call this. Let's put it in F. Come on, F drive. Wake up. Uh, we're going to call this Starship. Text of this, or do I just want to com continue the model? I might just finish the model actually. Alright, so you got that, which we then spin around and put underneath. Right. Now the cube. This needs to be quite slim on that axis. pretty easy to do, then just Z once more, be a box like that. Lovely, okay, so R Y ninety R X ninety R X ninety So let's see. Might want to scale that on the X a bit more. There you go, that sort of looks like the Starship Enterprise. And do a very, very poor rendition of it. Oh, so you got this. 
Page one is done. Oh god. Now I need to spruce up this because this just looks terrible. It might be because I haven't textured it yet. I mean, the other model looked pretty crap before it was textured, so shouldn't be too bad. Because of the refraction, it just doesn't look right. Um, I just had a friend of mine ask me, Hey man, do you want to go see the new um, Star Trek? And I'm going to have to tell him, Hey man, I, I, I actually went to see it today. It's really fucking good. Let's um, do that. Hold on just a second. I don't normally do this in the stream. I just need to message him back. Alright, sorry about that. I probably won't cut that out. A uh, friend just asked me if I wanted to uh, go see the new Star Trek film, and I'd already seen. I really liked it. Oh god, page two's now done. Fucking hell, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna regret ever encouraging them, aren't I? But right, material. There's a bit of a groove back there, and again, you've got this sort of bulge here, so there's gotta be more. I say that we have that as a base now, and then just add like a complexity jacket. Whatever. We've got these bits here. We've also got this metal pole, which I imagine connects that to that. Is that the underneath? Don't think it is. But yeah, let's let's just add more bloody detail to this. I mean, um, you're already making a render X cubes, so like, I don't think it really matters anymore. Um, I probably need to get this textured because it looks like crap at the minute. I actually need to see what the... Um, I just need to get like a reference have it. Yeah, we're showing that. Um, no, no, it's not showing on there. What am I doing? I'm uh, modelling the Starship Enterprise. It's not great at the moment. I mean, it looks like shit, but 
I just gotta add some textures to it. What you doing? Please tell me. Right, so let's do file new. Let's just create the texture now. 1000 by 1000. Okay. Please tell, dude, I've already told you we were doing the okay. Starship Enterprise. No, physically. Damn it, now I've got a new wave of. Um... Right, okay, that's fine. It's a bit dark. Thanks for telling, no problems. Uh, color. Add a bit to it. Layer new. Uh, maybe turn the opacity down. Layer new. Bring this one up. No, it's just the same color. Right, let's bring that down. Let's try that out. Uh, we're going to call this Starship Textures 1. I'm just going to apply this universally so I can get a rough idea of what it's going to look like. Hey, thanks, man. Alright. I don't know if that was sarcastic or not. I'm hoping not. Uh, right, so it'll be in Starship Textures 1. Uh, then we're going to want to go. Right, how's that look? Terrible. Uh, we're going to want to go to generated. Um, global. That looks still looks a bit dark, so let's increase its size. Streams on YouTube have a delay around thirty seconds or so. All oh, right. Fuck um, custom textures. I'm just gonna do a normal one. Uh, so that needs to be a bit darker. And I can maybe add a bumper map to it. So we'll do clouds. We'll turn that into interludes global. And then we're gonna turn that to black. But we're gonna add that to multiply. As I look. Right, hard. We want to add an F1. It's for that's what's causing it. So it's for we want to turn that to 0 0.1. Mm. Also, thanks for for talking back. I haven't had my like I don't know what they are text actually replied from. Well, you always get a reply from me. Hopefully, that's way too much normal. I need to turn the normal down. Right, let's look at it. It looks all that looks okay. I mean, I think the size is a bit off. Let's turn the size to one. That's a bit better. And then if we turn, because it's not glossy, it's like it's not like a plasticky look. I mean, if we select, also, what is the pop-out chat? Uh, that's basically so I can see you on my other screen. All right. I'm just gonna go back and make sure I've got that right. No, not quite. There's a bit of darkness on that rim. I think it's just for lighting, to be honest. Um, I think, let's make the lighting 5. <laughs> now let's just have a look at what it looks like rendered. Looks alright. Uh, that needs to be... These need to be the same colour. Material 3. Material 3. Material 3. I might need to get like a rendered texture, so that needs to be a brand new texture of like a really milky yellow. 
Okay, how's that fist look? That's way more like it. I don't know why it's showing up these other spots. Well, I'm on my knees now, but your last stream is good. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Right, no shadows. Yeah, I need to create like a custom texture for this. Because that's not really good. Let's turn the size down to 0.5. Or maybe it's because we're using clouds. I want to use maybe, I don't know, wood. Yeah, it's worse. Uh, not distorted. Distorted. Distorted noise looks all right. Um, again, that looks more like a um, model now than anything else. But the original one was a model, so. We affect 0.8. That just gives it a bit more of a better look. Material 3. Render the comic is done, it's only seven pages. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna ha uh, send it yeah, you're gonna have to send me to this to me somehow. Send it, send it via Skype, and then I'll have to read it the next one. Right. Uh, just looks off. I think in this instance we'd be better off with a uh, wood texture. But, set to generated and flat. Now set it to global. Ring noise. Cube. Just going with whatever works here. So let's go flat. Uh, let's try UV. Oh, I mean UV is quite nice. Oh, it's images. Yeah, it's probably um, yeah some of it's. Quite... What do you think of this design? I quite like this. It's like a mosaic look. Let's try this to Wadisa and turn the brightness. All the way to 0.05. That looks. It's very faithful to the original. Right. Mesh. UV unwrap. Unwrap. Used to be UV image editor. Turn normal off, it looks alright. Just gonna fuck around with this. I think global might be my favourite. And then turn that it's 0.5. Now maybe 0.1. Then turn intensity off.
see, well, let's have a look for a more decent texture. Okay, so let's open another one. It's got a desktop. I wanted to actually save it as that's the question. It's another another base text. So it should be another base text. Mesh UV unwrap unwrap. Uh, let's go to rendered uh, UV. Uh, new open desktop. Another base track. Let's. UV mesh UV unwrap unwrap mesh UV unwrap smart UV project that looks Terrible. <laughs> it does actually. Unless I add 0.2 variable. Uh, 0.6. Turn it to global. And sphere. Cube. Cube still looks crap though. I mean, it's not completely terrible. That's about right. You need like the proton pins at the bottom, though, so. What have we been going for? What have we been going for about 39 minutes, but it's not too bad. Uh, let's get rid of this. To edit mode. Tell you what, to keep everyone happy, we're going to use a Taurus for this one. be better if it was internal so if it was going in it's a problem with reference site you can't always get it right first time so if I got that going in so let's get rid of that I need a cylinder or x90 that needs to be flat flat sharp so I can then get you in Scale Y S Scale up Smooth 
move, smooth, smooth. Right. Cube. Boolean. Five. Difference. Apply. Right. Scale. Y. Let's go mesh, clean up, split non-linear faces. Okay, so that I'm gonna get that rendered again. Looks okay. Right, with the exception of this not being material three, that needs to be material three. And that needs to be material four. For you, we need to make a new material. <coughs> material five. We need to give it a more gold look. So the intensity all the way down. Sphere. Nice. Smooth, smooth, smooth. Alright, so we need to flatten it on the Z. Scale on the Z. Perfect. So that needs to be number six. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add modifier boolean and not boolean. We need to save this. We haven't saved this in ages. Right, so we need to be slotify. Just a tiny bit. So it needs to be like just a really small cylinder. Actually, scale it more Y, Z, tab, beta box select, scale down, lovely, Z, scale, scale that down, great. I mean, this is what we got so far, I mean, granted it doesn't look great it looks pretty awful actually from where I'm standing it needs to be centralized but you see there's a bit of clipping there so that's showing Tell you what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna beta box select R Y by 90 R Y 90 R Y 90. 
this is gonna look awful. But you know, I need to kind of get like a rendition of it done, so. And render it. Yeah. If we got the textures fixed, it might look presentable. was fixed it might look okay so let's try and fix it okay generated sphere Object. So I'm just trying different combinations at the moment to see if it'll work. Okay. because there's no ray shadows. Oh, it needs to be right at the front. Decent. I mean, we can probably make this look like a tiny bit decent. And again, that sort of looks the shadow is too powerful. So I think we need to lighten the shadows up a bit. So, yeah, just look. Just like that, so that's a little bit. It looks a bit more. That looks a bit more plasticky now. It's just like, hey guys, can you see too much of it? All right, let's bring it. And then we need like um. Actually, I know I could probably find that. Perfect. C 
seeing the space. Right, bring a plane in. Scale the X. Right. This one should have a new material. And what was it again? Uh, new desktop. Seamless space. And we want to just just make it shadeless. Okay. What about rendered? <laughs> it's actually pretty decent. I've seen way worse stuff than that. Um, and we're going to set that to generated. And let's render it. <laughs> That's awful, but okay. Uh, let's go global. Global cube. Wow, okay. Um, Right. Generated it is then. Oh wow, now that looks pretty decent. I like that. Let's just let's just do this because I think this is probably the best we're going to get done today. Yeah, it's <laughs> awful. Um, I mean, it could be worse, but it, it could be way, way better than this. Um, let's turn me. I want to do sample motion blur. How much do I want to do? Enough to make it so you can't see the model. Oh, it's just rendering a load there. All right, let's just render this once and then call it a day. Well, um. And we're just gonna call that first enterprise. All right, guys. Well, that's it for this stream. Uh, thank you very much to everybody who turned up, and a very ha big happy birthday to um, uh, what's his name? I've completely forgot what his name is now. Uh, the developer is C Shift at Austin's. I've, I'm gonna feel really, really bad, but I've Scrubby. That's it. Happy birthday to Scrubby. Anyways, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode, or live stream, or whatever. Take care, everyone.